very dear crochet friends this is the new video tutorial for you this very nice cardigan we already use this method for the gradient uh, vest the long vest we did uh, several days ago anyway i will explain you the method step by step from the beginning for any size it will be so easy for you to create a cardigan like that a very very nice method this is a granny stitch but not the usual classical granny stitch this is my own variation okay we will start from the square on my back from the center of this square working round after round we will create then the arm hole and then the two front sides in just one piece seamless you don't need to sew anything okay so if you like this project give me your like i will be so thankful and please subscribe to my channel are you ready follow me let's go for this project i'm using this uh, um, lace weight yarn from ice yarns in the information box i will give you the link for the shopping online the name of this wall is lana bella beautiful wall it means so in italian and uh, the composition is 30 percent wool 70 percent acrylic it's a very very nice and beautiful wool because it's really very very soft if you like i will give you the link where you can purchase you can buy this ergonomic crochet hook which i found uh, really useful to work in a comfortable way so let's get started Let's start our project with a slip note. Insert your hook in the note, in the loop. And now chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Slip stitch to join into a circle into the first chain. In this way second round now put the yarn excess near the circle so that you can cover it with the following stitches chain 3 which takes the place of the first double crochet in yarn over insert your hook into the center of your circle and do two double crochet one and two chain two and now into the same circle three double crochet one two and three now chain two and now create a new cluster of three double crochet into the same space yarn over insert your hook into the space below and one two 
three double crochet now chain two and repeat yarn over into the circle three double crochet one two and three at the end of this round instead of chain two one half double crochet into the chain number three you did at the beginning of this round in this way you are in the right position to start round two round two chain three and into the same very first space two double crochet one and two chain one into the next chain two space i'm gonna create the corner double crochet three one two and three chain two into the same space three double crochet one two and three okay from here chain one into the next space i'm gonna create the next corner Ch um, double crochet three one two and three chain two and again into the same space double crochet three once again one two and three chain one into the next space another three double crochet chain two three double crochet from here chain one and now into the next space i'm gonna create the second half of the first corner of which i did just an half corner you see yarn over into the next space three double crochet and now into the chain number three one two and three one half double crochet to finish this round at round three we're gonna turn from granny pattern to virus stitch chain three into the same space two double crochet now chain one into the next chain one space one double crochet chain two one double crochet chain one and now sorry i'm gonna okay and now into the next center of the below corner i'm gonna create a new one double crochet three chain two and into the same space double crochet three chain one into the next chain one space one double crochet chain two into the same space one double crochet chain one into the next uh, corner a new corner 
always the same three double crochet chain two three double crochet And now repeat the same for the other two edges of this round. Chain one into the next space, double crochet one, chain two, double crochet one, chain one, now the corner and so on. At the end of this round we're gonna finish the first corner with one two three double crochet and one half double crochet into the chain number three like that round number four we're gonna start with chain three and two double crochet now chain one yarn over into the chain two space below three double crochet one two and three chain one into the same space three double crochet two and three chain one and now into the center of the corner below we're gonna create a new one with double crochet three chain two double crochet three once again chain one and now we're gonna repeat the same into the next chain two space show you again three double crochet chain one three double crochet chain one into the next corner I'm gonna create a new one and now continue working like that all the way around finish this round with chain one after the big shell and the second half of your first corner with three double crochet and one half double crochet into the chain number three like that so now we come back to the other uh, yarn kind and we are ready for round number five so starting um, from the center of the first corner chain three and two double crochet this is the same for the beginning of every round chain one into the chain one space below here you see one double crochet chain two one double crochet like that now chain one into the chain one space of the shell below one single crochet chain one into the next chain one space before the corner one double crochet chain two one double crochet chain one into the center of the next corner you're gonna repeat a new one double crochet three chain two double crochet three 
that's the same for every corner if you have good memory I think you should know now how to repeat a new corner in the center of each corner below and now repeat the same for the other three edges I will show you once again chain one into the next chain one space one double crochet chain two one double crochet into the same space chain one into the chain one space below one single crochet chain one into the next chain one space repeat one double crochet chain two one double crochet chain one and now into the next corner a new one continue like that all the way around okay we're gonna finish this row after the last V stitch with chain one and the second half of the first corner three double crochet and finish this round with one half uh, half double crochet into the chain number three like that ready for round number six chain three two double crochet into the same very first space chain one now into the chain two space below three double crochet chain one three double crochet into the same space so we are going to repeat what we did at round number four chain one into the next single crochet below one single crochet and now into the next chain two space we're gonna repeat three double crochet chain one three double crochet chain one and into the center of the next corner I'm gonna repeat a new one three double crochet chain two three double crochet now I have to do the same on the next three edges I will show you again chain one into the next chain two space three double crochet chain one three double crochet into the same chain two space below and now one single crochet into the single crochet below and repeat into the next chain two space three double crochet chain one three double crochet into the same space below now chain one and in the center of the corner below I'm gonna create a new one continue like that all the way around I worked for the back side of my cardigan 21 rounds and that's all for my size which is medium you should add 
two more rounds for each additional size. So for example, 21 rounds for medium, 23 rounds for large, 25 rounds for extra large and so on. Now I'm ready to start the two front side of my cardigan. I don't need to cut the yarn directly from here, from the uh, round number 21st. I'm ready to create the first armhole, then continue working all around and on the opposite side from here I will create the second armhole and stop working here without uh, turning because from this point on we will always work on one, two, three edges of my square. From here chain one, enter again into the space below and double crochet one. Now to create the armhole I have to chain 28, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Skip 1, 2, 3, 4 V spaces and in the V space number 5 yarn over, enter and Double crochet three, one, two, and three. So I will start again with one half shell stitch. This is the half of a complete shell stitch. Uh, this armhole is corresponding to 19 centimeters. If you need a larger armhole, you can skip five spaces instead of four and in the next space you will start with again three double crochet okay. and when your three double crochet half shell is done then single crochet then uh, restart working normally with uh, your stitch pattern and work all the way around you will stop on the opposite side five V stitches before the end so that you can create the second arm hole. I will show you how. Okay, I made the first arm hole. I worked all the way around with my pattern, you see. My two corners continue and I stopped now one, two, three, four and five spaces before the last corner. Now from here, after the single crochet into the center of the shell below, Yanova, enter into the next V stitch and double crochet three, one, two, and three just half shell from here chain 28 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 28 chains. Now skip 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces. Yarn over. Insert your hook directly into the center of the last corner and double crochet. 1. Your second armhole is completed. Ready for the next row chain one and turn into this double crochet below enter 
again and double crochet one now we have to work into the chains and from here chain one yarn over skip one two three stitches into the next one double crochet one chain two yarn over into the same chain double crochet one chain one skip one two chains into the next one single crochet one chain one yarn over skip next two chains into the next one double crochet one chain two into the same chain double crochet one again chain one skip one two chains into the next one single crochet one chain one skip one two chains yarn over into the next one double crochet one chain two double crochet one chain one skip one two chains into the next one single crochet one chain one skip one two into the next one double crochet one chain two double crochet one chain one skip one two into the next one single crochet one chain one yarn over skip one two chains into the last chain double crochet one chain two double crochet one again chain one skip yarn over skip the three double crochet below and into the next single crochet double crochet one chain one double crochet one chain one single crochet one into the center of the shell below okay now you see i worked all my chains now i can continue working normally according to according to usual pattern into the rest of my row okay second arm hole from here chain one into the first chain double crochet one chain two double crochet one chain one skip one two chains into the next one single crochet one chain one skip one two into the next one double crochet one chain two double crochet one chain one skip one two into the next one single crochet one chain one skip one two into the next one double crochet one chain one a uh, uh, chain two sorry double crochet one chain one skip one two into the next one single crochet one chain one again skip one two into the next one double crochet one one two chains one double crochet chain one 
skip one two chains into the next one single crochet one chain one skip one two chains into the next one double crochet one chain two double crochet one chain one skip one two three chains into the double crochet the last double crochet one double crochet okay next row chain one and turn into the double crochet below one single crochet now yarn over into the next space three double crochet chain one three double crochet into the next single crochet one single crochet and repeat into the next space three double crochet chain one three double crochet into the single crochet below one single crochet now continue all the way around with your usual stitch pattern okay when i am here after the shell of the armhole here you see at the end of the armhole enter into the chain one space and single crochet one and then continue working normally three double crochet chain one three double crochet chain uh, single crochet one into the next um single crochet below and continue. worked all the way around now i am here at the second arm hole where I have to work the same here in this point you see one chain before the arm hole enter the chain single crochet one and now into the next V stitch my shell double crochet three chain one double crochet three one single crochet into the next single crochet and continue till the end of this row i made all my shells in each v stitch now after the last one i will finish this row with one single crochet into the last double crochet of this round I did one single crochet at the beginning and now one single crochet at the end. So what you do at the beginning must be done at the end too. Row 25, chain 3 and turn into the same very first stitch double crochet 1 so you will start and finish this row with two double crochet chain one 
into the center of the shell below one single crochet chain one and then in each single crochet below double crochet one chain two double crochet one chain one single crochet one into the center of the shell below row 26 chain three and turn now into the very first stitch double crochet two and now single crochet one into the single crochet below so you will start round a row number 26 with three double crochet and finish the same row with three double crochet from here now your shell double crochet three chain one double crochet three single crochet one and so on round 27 chain one and turn into the first stitch one single crochet okay and now from here repeat um your sequence chain one into the single crochet below double crochet one chain two double crochet one chain one and single crochet into the center of the shell below so remember you have to start with one single crochet and finish with one single crochet into the last double crochet of this row at round 28 this one you should restart the same sequence we start uh, and we did at row 24 because um, to start and finish each row we have to repeat one two three and four times the same sequence so at round 20 at row 28 you will start and finish uh, each row with one single crochet and then your normal pattern okay i started row number 28 you see how i am working this is the central part which is the back side of my cardigan the two arm holes now i'm starting one and two front side i will turn this side towards my back side join uh, on the shoulders up there and in this ways in this way i'm creating my cardigan um, without cutting the yarn but continue con going on always with this pattern uh, when we will reach the length we need for our cardigan we will stop working on one two and three sides and we will start working separately on the right and then on the left to have the necessary width for each front side okay i'm working on three edges one two and three after I created the two armholes and I continue working on one, two, three edges till row number 30. At row number uh, 31, I will start working first 
at one side and then at the other one and uh, of course I will work at one side only at one edge only row after row then I will create the neck opening and my two front sides will be ready okay so at row 31 you will start working for example at your left side when you are uh, you have completed the left side you start row 41 for the right one and complete the right side of your front okay you have to start uh, working at one side one edge only of your cardigan at row 31 for medium side size please add two more rows for each additional size so start at row 33 for large at row for 35 for extra large and so on start row 31 for medium 33 for large 35 for extra large with one single crochet into the center of the corner then chain one double crochet one chain two double crochet one chain one single crochet one and so on till the end of this row you will finish row 31 exactly like you started chain one and one single crochet into the last double crochet below like that you started with one single crochet and finish with one single crochet start row 32 chain one and turn one single crochet into the same single crochet below now yarn over double crochet three into the v stitch below chain one double crochet three into the same space single crochet one into the single crochet one below i'm finishing row 32 into the last v stitch double crochet three one two three chain one double crochet three into the same v stitch one two and three finish with single crochet one into the last single crochet below like that let's start a row 33 chain three which takes the place of the first double crochet turn your work yarn over into the same very first stitch one double crochet chain one one single crochet into the center of the shell below and now continue with your pattern let's finish row 33 chain one into the last double crochet below two double crochet you see that you will finish each row exactly in the same way how you began it start row number four, uh, uh, 34 sorry one two three chains and turn into the same very first stitch two double crochet and this will be my half shell into the next single crochet one single crochet now i can create a, an entire shell into the v stitch below double crochet three chain one double crochet three
and now finish your shell with one single crochet into the single crochet below and continue according to your usual pattern till you get to the end of row 34 you will finish this row with three double crochet into the single crochet below okay and this is the diagram to understand the repetition of the rows uh, in this case too we have the repetition of four rows in this case from 31 to 34 single crochet single crochet double crochet two double crochet three and then repeat again single crochet single crochet double crochet two double crochet three and so on till row number 39 at row 40 for medium size uh, I have to create the neck opening starting from one side and then on the other so I did uh, at first the left uh, sorry the right side now I have to do the left side okay for uh, doing this neck opening I just started my row number 40 and worked until I had one two three four V spaces and I lived an unworked um, sorry I left unworked this one two three four V stitches I will show you now exactly in detail uh, please add two more rows for each additional size. For example, for medium size, start neck opening at row 40. For uh, large size, at row 42. Extra large size, row 44, and so on. I will show you how. At row 40, I'm starting my neck opening. For the right side, I will start from the bottom. I will start row 40 from the bottom. And at the end of row 40, I will skip one, two, three, four V stitches. Okay. For the left, left side, I will cut the yarn at the end of row 39 and will restart into the space number 5 into the V stitch number 5 left side for the neck opening you have to skip one V stitch second third fourth V stitch into the next single crochet after the V stitch number four, insert your hook, insert, pick up the new yarn, pull it through, chain one, single crochet one into the same single crochet below. And now you can create your new shell into the V stitch number five, double crochet three chain one into the same V stitch double crochet three again and single crochet one into the next single crochet below continue all across the row till the end of this row you will finish with one single crochet into the single crochet into the center of the shell below finish this row with one single crochet into the single crochet below row third uh, 41 chain three and turn one double crochet into the same very first stitch chain one single crochet one in the center of the shell below 
chain one and continue your usual pattern. Finish row 41 with chain 1 and 2 double crochet into the single crochet below. Continue working only into these selected stitches till row number 47 and leave unworked these stitches on the other side. In this diagram I'm explaining you how to start and finish each row creating the neck opening. So uh, we start for the neck opening at row 40 you see then 41, 42, 43, 44, 45 um, because we will stop working for the front side uh, to row number 45 which is the last one okay so at row 40 we start with chain one single crochet and finish with one single crochet. At row 41 we start with three chains and finish three chains and one double crochet and finish with two double crochet. Row 42 start with three chains, two double crochet and finish with three double crochet. Row 40 3 start with chain 1 single crochet finish with single crochet row 44 start with chain 1 and single crochet and finish with one single crochet row 45 start with chain 3 and one double crochet and finish with two double crochet Row 45 will be the last row for the front side, left and right, for uh, the medium size. Okay, now the two front sides are ready. At this stage you have to sew over there on the shoulders. After joined we can start the refining uh, round all around the cardigan to uh, refine the neck opening here and the bottom as well and after that we can also start creating the two sleeves. If you want to create the sleeves and refining rounds all around your cardigan, please go to the second part of this video tutorial. I will link the, vi the second video in the information box below under this video.